Okay, so this short little tutorial is going to be about the app Shobi and how you can use it in your classroom. So Shobi is an app that functions a little bit similarly to creating a shared folder in Google Drive or in Dropbox. However, it's got some added bonus features that I think make it really appealing for teachers as well as the students. Um, it's got a nice interface and some added tools for feedback for the students, which are pretty great. So um, one piece is that it works online as well as on your iPad. So let's kind of dive deeper a little bit. So uh, as a teacher, I would use it online to create my, my groups for every class period that I have, as well as possibly even creating assignments. If you have additional documents that you want the kids to have access to, you can drop them into the shared folder for the assignments. But most of the cool stuff is really going to be found online, um, or on your iPad, I mean. So on your iPad, uh, when a student turns in an assignment, you have the ability to uh, go in and type a note, um, but you also have the ability to add in a voice note. So um, it's a nice way for you to collect assignments and keep everything organized with some um, additional features. So um, the iPad integration is really, uh, really great because it's got a nice workflow. What you would do is you would have the students working, let's say they get a PDF and they open it up in Notability, for example. Um, like in my class, I would have a lot of short stories that my students are going to be reading, highlighting, annotating, adding all sorts of good stuff to. And then as soon as they're done using that app, they would then share it with me. Now, instead of sending me an email, I don't want to get inundated with 150 emails from all my students on a daily basis then what they would do is they would share out into Shobi. So um, they would just click from that app into Shobi, and it's a simple turn in here kind of a button process for the students. <clears throat> um, so it's a nice way for you as the teacher to try and go paperless and organize your assignments instead of having your inbox in your email flooded. And again, like I said, it offers you the ability to give feedback whether you're typing out feedback or even giving voice comments. Students, studies show students respond better to voice feedback um, than actual text or handwritten pieces. So that's kind of huge um, and super easy, which is exciting. So when you talk about workflow with the iPads, that's a huge deal. It's critical for teachers and for students to make sure that it's nice and easy to go from one app to another, to be able to work in one area, but then send it to another. And um, Shobi does a pretty good job at this as well as being just really easy to work through and it allows you as a teacher to not have to worry about email attachments not have to worry about thumb drives and just um, keep everything in a nice contained space i would say that this is definitely a step up from emailing just back and forth back and forth it's a step up i think from using a dropbox or a google drive shared folder but it's not as intense and requiring a lot of teacher monitoring and work as maybe a large management system like Edmodo or Schoology. So it's kind of a nice in-betweener, I think. All right, and I wanted to quickly show you what it looks like. So Shobi, you would just go to Shobi.com. You would just sign in. It's free for teachers and students. You are limited to some of the things, but there you go. So uh, what you would do if you needed to create a new class, you would just click New Class. You title it, it gives you a class code. This class code is what you would give the students. So as they sign in on their iPads, once they create their account, it asks for the code. They type this in, you're, they're done. They're joined into your class. They can join other teachers' classes too with just that one simple account. And then anytime they create something or need to add it to a class, they, they, it's, it's on there. It's ready to go for them. Now, as the teacher, if I'm online like this, um, and I want to create a new assignment, I would just go to New Assignment. It gives you the option to use their drop-down tool here to click what class you want it to go in. You'd title it, you'd give it a due date, et cetera. So I made a test example. Now, the survey is one of the very first assignments I give my kids at the beginning of the year, but you'll notice that my due date is today. And I did create a test student just because I wanted to figure out how this all worked. And um, I had the test student go in and take a PDF, one that I actually do give to the student. And um, I, on the iPad, went to Notability and tried to see if all of the stuff you can do in Notability will actually translate and send through to Shobi. And in fact, it does. So you see I've got highlighting, I've got annotation, I've got post-it notes that are showing up, and I've got text that is showing up. So it's all 
here. Now, if I had opened this document on my iPad, I would be able to, straight to the student's folder, add in a text comment or a voice note on how they did, giving them their feedback and their score or their grade. You're still going to have to go into our grading program, our grade book, into Synergy and add these grades. So it's not like it translates exactly that way. This is just a way for you to contain and to organize, to send out assignments as well as receive assignments from the student. So if you have more questions, I'm going to also post Shobi's um, informational tutorial video um, that kind of gives you a look at, at what it looks like. But I definitely think it's one for us to check out for ease of use and accessing different things for um, the kids and their assignments. Okay, thanks guys.